Hey, this is Lotus Comic Express. We're here at Texas Frightmare, guys. How are you enjoying the event, Miss uh, Miss Campbell? There's a lot of people here, but I'm managing. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Well, tell us a little bit about what you do. I know you do special effects, and you work with uh, Pink Mist Effects. Is that correct? Yeah, I own Pink Mist Effects, which is our effects company. We do a lot of local film. We do um, special effects makeup. We do prop fabrication, and we do mask and creature design. Very cool. And that now with that, I hear you got done with uh, Cherokee Creek with uh, Billy Blair and, and all of his uh, colleagues and stuff like that. How'd that go? It was shot over a period of about six months off and on. We were on for maybe, I think, five days. Um, they would just go out there whenever they could get everybody together and they brought us out there for like one full day of just straight effect shots after effect shots after effect shots. So it was just this rapid fire of like, okay, we've just cut off this person's head. I know we got to clean up after this, but we got to go over here and we got to have the severed hand like ready to go. And so it was just constant like onslaught. Uh, it was it was really exhausting. We'd be doing like 18 hour days every single time we went out, and just it was it was arduous, but it was a lot of fun. We got to do a lot of really cool things that I never thought I'd get to do. And if you see the movie, you'll see the cool things that I never thought I'd get to do. But uh, no, I just had a blast. That was awesome. Yeah. What's been your favorite moment or favorite experience working in a special, like the special effects realm? In of the things? entire industry? Yeah. Oh God. Um, you have a favorite moment, favorite experience, maybe? Well, uh, I'm a big video game player. I love like I love Red Dead Redemption and Fallout and stuff. Uh, my favorite, you know. My favorite character in Fallout 4 was Hancock, like the ghoul mayor of Good Neighbor. Yeah. I befriended his voice actor and have been turning him into the ghoul mayor of Fallout often. And we go out and we do like press events and we do uh, conventions like in full makeup. And it's just been a blast getting to know him and getting to do that makeup. I think it's my best work. That is awesome. Yeah. Now with, with that, I, like, did you, did you ever want to do acting or any of that? Like why did you actually pick initially special effects? Uh, well. My mentor, George Giordano, yeah. picked me up when I was about 16, and uh, he worked at pc and DFX. he owned that, and I worked with him and uh, had an apprenticeship with him for a long period of time, and that kind of like burst my love of effects, not to mention I love horror movies, like Evil Dead 2 is my favorite movie of all time, it's a good movie. everything about that, that was like the start movie. of K&D. Mine's Army of Darkness, personally. This is good, but yeah. Evil Dead 2, way more Three Stooges elements in it for me, I love that. I would agree on that, totally. And, um, but Getting to meet Bruce Campbell, how was that? I've met him a few times. Oh. Every time is exquisite. He's a very, very nice guy. He's a very nice yeah. guy, isn't he? Yeah, but um, no, so I, I love like watching horror movies and I always wondered how they did that. Yeah. And growing up alongside George, it was just incredibly inspiring to see him make a lot of these things. Um, he was one of the effects guys for like Toxic Avenger 2 and 3. So he was doing like really punk rock, back alley kind of stuff, and it was just awesome. And I love that. And I, I do like acting too. I, I do specifically creature work. I really love working in haunted houses and training those people. And there's something very primal about like becoming some sort of like monster, but still maintaining a fraction of humanity. That's something that I am very passionate about. That is very awesome. With that, do, do you have any heroes or anything that inspire you with the work that you do? Um, I've met a lot of other effects artists yeah. that have been individually inspiring. There's a lot of people whose work will just always like constantly spur me forward. Um, Wayne Anderson is a sculptor that I absolutely admire, and I've never had the chance to meet him, but every time I see something that he does, it's just beautiful and immaculate. He goes so fast. But like uh, Tate Steinzeich and Ian Von Cromer, those are both guys that I've met and are, I consider very dear to me, and they've inspired me not only to be a better effects artist, but to be a better person and challenge like a lot of stigmas in the industry. So I love them to death. Well, it seems like the work, like uh, we've seen Cherokee Creek, yeah. and it seems like the work that you do in that movie is just based purely on love. Yeah. I, and I think that's very cool. It was, everybody in that was a brotherhood. It was just. You can hear the brotherhood in the background, I'm assuming. Everybody laughing and having fun. Everybody was very close. It was a very guerrilla, tightly knit group. And we got stuff done. We got it done fast. We got it done right. And it was, again, just an immense pleasure to work with them. I think you, I, I think you absolutely nailed it. Now, with the new upcoming fans that are just getting to know your work and stuff like that, where can they go? Uh, do you have a website or anything like that that they can go to to help just, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe buy some stuff off of you special effects-wise or...? Um, I have a website, pinkmistfx.com, and it's FX like the letters, so pinkmistfx. 
And uh, we sell masks for like haunted houses. We mostly do foam latex pieces with like r resin inserts and human hair punching. Okay. Um, so it's not quite as like pretty as like the silicone masks, but they are a lot more durable, a lot more lightweight, and easy to wear, which is something that I like because I like running around and getting into stuff. Okay. But uh, we also sell like prosthetic pieces, small flat mold pieces, things like that, and. Honestly, if you really want to learn how to do a lot of good effects, Stan Winston has a great tutorial thing, and uh, Brick in the Yard Mold Supply, which is where I get all of my products from, they have a lot of really great tutorials on their site. Very cool. Very cool. I know you didn't have much time, but I, I, wanted, I wanted to tell you thank you very much for coming out to Texas Fried Mary and, and the interview. I mean, it's been an honor. Thank you. Yeah. It's been an honor uh, talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Come check out her website, guys. She's amazing at what she does. Come check out Cherokee Creek specifically. A lot of the work that I've seen her in is amazing in Cherokee Creek. But yeah, come check out LotusComics.com, and we'll see you here real soon, guys. Bye.